Hey, hello, my friend. Let us continue to talk about Lord's Prayer. This time, we talk about forgive us our debt, as we also have forgiven other debtors. Well, I would think、um, forgiveness is the number one enemy of humanity. All sorts of mistakes are coming from the art of forgiveness. If I just talk about this topic today, it may take days. <laughs> Simply saying, if we make mistake, someone get hurt. Now that one could be us, but in some cases,、uh, someone get hurt. So, like、uh, last time, I used the hotting paper. So, if you get more than we leave, someone may not have the toilet paper. For one day, we didn't get enough. And so I have to preserve the toilet paper at home. So I used to use that many uh, uh, toilet paper per day. I suddenly shrink it into that much. Ah, horrible experience. In a free economy, it is the price to control the demand and supply. If the people getting more, the price up, and stopping the people getting more. But of course, the government also have some policy. To safeguard to protect the people from price manipulation. No matter what economy we are in, when we get more than we need, someone get hurt, for sure. In most cases, it is minor inconvenience, just like the toilet paper. But in some cases, can be dangerous. Now, let us to think about the forgiveness at seven interesting cases. All right, the first three is about. We got hurt by others who are ignorant. Well, maybe easy to forgive, or we got hurt by people intentionally, but later on they regret it. Well, yeah, I think in most cases, if someone come and say I regret it about what he did, maybe you can forgive them. Yeah, but usually we have some hard feeling. All right, still not a good experience. But the third case is if they don't regret about what they did, they still think that they are right things to do. Ah,、uh, would you forgive them? Probably not, right? Okay. <laughs> Now let's switch these three cases into outside. All right. If we hurt someone by ignorance, well, because we unknowingly hurt someone. Well, I think most of the people. Uh, probably would say sorry, and I hope that it's not a big deal. And usually, this happens in the, in the family. All right, yeah, no big deal. But in the second case, is you are intentionally did something harmful, all right, to someone, and later on you regret that you did that. Well, you may have a hard time to asking for the forgiveness. You may hope that the one. Got hurt, we forgot. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's still not a good situation. But the last one is you don't feel regretted. Wow, this is the really bad cases. I'm pretty sure that you would not ask other people for the forgiveness. This is the hardest one. Um, in fact, actually, uh, this is exactly how these people treating Jesus and torture him and Jesus. In the other case, besides they he forgive them, but also asking God to forgive them. Well, nah, okay, this is a tremendous level of the forgiveness.、Uh, I'm not talk about here now, but just talk about ourselves. Well, usually you probably won't forgive these people who have the intention to hurt you. Now, the seven cases. Yeah, let's take a little moment to think about it. Is when people come to us asking for forgiveness. Would you forgive them? Well, I take the hardest case per se. Well, they have the intention to hurt us. It's obviously it is their wrong, not us. Why we forgive them? What's the reason behind why we need to forgive them? Well, they have the intention to hurt us. Why I need to forgive them? Now. The Bible teaching gives us some hint about the reason why we forgive them. Okay, so are you ready? 
it is the nature of God. If we inherit His characters, we should have the ability to forgive. But again, are you asking me to forgive someone for our own loss? It's so hurting. This is not fair to us. If God is just, He should be fair, right? How do we balance the equation? Practically speaking, we also make mistakes by ignorance all the time. We just didn't realize it. If we give other people a chance, hopefully others will give us a chance also. Well, this is a sort of uh, in the Geneva Convention, make it illegal to torture the prisoner of war and hoping that they will not torture each other. Well, this is sort of on the stage of the countries. But it is also true that if we have the heart to forgive others, we hope that other people will also forgive our case. And secondly, if we hold a grunt against other people who hurt us, besides it won't do anything to that person who hurt us, but actually hurt us more, it is not worth our time and energy to hold a grunt against the person who hurt us then how we balance the equation? What are the direct benefits of forgiving others? If we willing to forgive other people without hesitation, I congratulate you that you are learning to be more like our Heavenly Father. This is the direct benefit. Okay, how so? At that moment, you will experience tremendous peace in your heart. No grunt no difficulties, you feel grateful, peaceful, and blessed. Well, this is not the empty word. This blessing is not just on this incident of forgiveness. This blessing is eternal as your character has transformed. Don't think that your ability to forgive is from you. It is from God, in fact. Without God, I would for sure that you would never forgive anyone who hurt you. For just one act of forgiveness, it carry an internal return on investment. It's worth whatever you have to invest. I guarantee it. This is how God bless us every day if we forgive. Now, I'll give you one example. One person accused me wrongly. Uh, uh, well. Fortunately, it is in the private room, it's in the meeting room, so <laughs> I don't feel too bad about that, okay, when he did that. It, because it involved the other people that I know very well, so, so that I know what's going on behind the scenes. So, well, I can't argue with him, otherwise I have to draw those people who know about what happened behind him. So, uh, then... I have no other choice but just take all the blame against me, okay? <laughs> my behavior, my plan, my attitude, whatever, okay? In the past, <laughs> this person will be dead because I will have a 10 times stronger reason to insult him, to make sure that he have no chance to defend. <laughs> but because if in this case, as I said, um, this is involve other people, and also, I learned to forgive. Okay, God gave me these lessons. He showed me in real life the power of forgiveness. What happened is, suddenly, I feel experienced the joy, <laughs> unknowing joy from somewhere. I have no idea. When he blamed me, I feel the joy of swallowing the wrong ac accusations. <laughs> After the meeting, I scratched on my head out of the door. I was amazed at what had happened. I have no idea what happened. Totally ignored what he said. But I, I, I amazed how I handled his complaints. And, oh, I said to God, you are amazing. <laughs> Do you know what I amazed? What on earth? I have that peace in my heart not to get angry. It was not me. Who was I? It was God 
with me at that time. Trust me, it is a transformational experience in real life. Okay, it is not fake. You may hear this thousand times unless you try. You will never understand. More you forgive, more you know about our heavenly Father. Trust me. Okay, hopefully you get something helpful this time. I will share with you more deeper understanding to the power of this passage. See you next time.